The spleen has a role in immunosurveillance and hematopoiesis. It lies in the left upper quadrant. Splenomegaly. Splenomegaly and hypersplenism should not be confused. They may be found separately, or even both may coexist. The normal sized spleen is usually not palpable in adults. On examination, if a spleen is palpable, then it means that it is enlarged. Symptoms of splenomegaly may include abdominal pain, sometimes back pain, early satiety and may be anemia due to cytopenia. The most common physical symptom due to splenomegaly is vague abdominal discomfort. Causes of splenomegaly are, portal hypertension, hematological malignancy, infectious diseases like HIV, infective endocarditis etc. Storage diseases, infiltrative disorders, connective tissue disorders. Splenomegaly can be classified upon its pathophysiologic basis. Congestive. For example, due to portal hypertension. Infiltrative. For example, metastasis, lipid storage diseases. Next immune. That is, increase in immunologic activity and in this leading to hyperplasia. For example endocarditis, sarcoidosis, rheumatoid arthritis. Neoplastic, when resident immune cells originate a neoplasm. For example, lymphoma. Splenomegaly means enlargement of the spleen. The upper limit of normal adult splenic length is 12 cm. Massive splenomegaly spleen is longer than 18 cm and extending into the pelvis or across the midline. Causes of splenomegaly with ascites Decompensated liver disease, lymphoma, disseminated tuberculosis, systemic lupus erythematosus. Causes of splenomegaly with ascites and jaundice Disseminated tuberculosis Hepatocellular carcinoma Acute on chronic liver disease Decompensated cirrhosis with portal hypertension Causes of splenomegaly with anemia and jaundice Hemolytic anemia Chronic malaria Pernicious anemia Causes of massive splenomegaly Chronic myelogenous leukemia Myelofibrosis Malaria Kala Azar Causes of moderate splenomegaly Portal hypertension Lymphoma Leukemia Thalassemia Causes of mild splenomegaly Hemolysis Infective endocarditis Epstein-Barr virus infection RA SLE amyloidosis Sarcoidosis